G'day internet, in the purpose built moto garage, this time for another quick fix project. We've got a Royal Enfield GT650 and these things have been really gaining in popularity lately. I'm starting to see them all over the place. So it wasn't ever gonna be too long until we saw one in the shop for a bit of custom work. This one's had a few beastie modifications. I'm Tom and let's get into our quick fix on the Enfield 650. So the first major thing that you're gonna notice on this bike is the wheel set. So these have been based off the standard Royal Enfield hubs. The bike as it came comes with a 1918 setup, real skinny tires. Jefferson, our client, wanted something a little bit bolder. So we've stripped the standard wheels and relaced them to a 17 front and back. Now we're running a 130 17 on the front here and a 170 17 on the rear. This achieves two things. So we've got the absolute biggest tire that we can fit into the forks without going with a custom triple clamp. The same with the swing arm. We haven't had to do any major modification there. And we've also been able to lower the stance of the bikes. Dropping the front from a 19 to a 17, you get a bit of a lower profile on the front and it sort of dropped the bike down on itself. So it gives, gives it a bit more of that low and lean look on the street. The tyres that we're running on our new XL rims are a Continental TKC80. And with that mod, we've had to change a few bits and pieces, especially on the front end here. So the standard front fender was scrapped and we've rebuilt a custom fender using our rear fender kit. This is a wider fender that we've released just recently. So because we've got a big bold wheel on the front here, we've gone with a fat fender that just uses a factory mount. It wasn't too bad to fabricate and fit up. A pretty easy mod if you sort of know what you're doing with the welder and a grinder. We've gone with a seven inch flash point headlight. This was uh, one of the catalysts that Jefferson came in. He loves our lighting gear. So we got the job in. We've run the headlight on the standard factory mounts. They're a pretty neat unit that they come with on the front of these Enfields. And then we've run our dome indicators front and back as well. We've gone with a pretty similar bend on the handlebars here. Just replaced them for black. Jefferson, our rider, is a pretty tall guy, so we wanted to make sure he had enough room when he was sitting on this bike. Normally, we would have dropped the bend of the bars just to make him look better, but a bit of style and functionality came into play here, so the, the bend was chosen to stay a little bit higher. Um, all the standard switch gear has been retained, the standard levers and master cylinder. The, thing, the only thing that we have done is fitted up a quad lock phone mount and then a set of our scrambler mirrors here on the front as well. So coming down the side of the bike, we've uh, modified the standard exhaust, leaving the cat in place and replacing the standard mufflers, which sort of, they weigh a ton, they're really big units with a set of our torpedo mufflers. Once we start this thing up, you'll hear how good it sounds. The exhaust on this twin engine setup sounds absolutely magic, really, really nice sounding bike. Now with the removal of the rear fender, we've fitted up our tail tidy kit on the back here and then used a set of our dome three-in-ones that act as your tail, brake light and indicators that were tucked up on a factory frame mount that we were able to utilise here. Now with the massive rear tyre that we've put on this thing, obviously it looks really good from the front and back view. I'll turn these lights on so you can see just how tidy this whole setup is here. Another small mod that we did here was reshape the factory seat. So they tend to come with like a little bit of a duck lip on the back and because Jefferson chucks his girlfriend on the back from time to time, we wanted to flatten that out, add a bit more comfort on the rear um, and a bit of a higher density foam. So that's been flattened out and then just given to timeless auto trim for some nice, uh, nice leather work. What we've done on this Royal Enfield 650 is a pretty common set of modifications that we do on a lot of guys that bring near new bikes into us. Everyone picks up their bike from the dealership and the first thing they want to do is put a few custom touches on it to make it a little bit more of their own. We're more than happy to oblige for that sort of situation because quite often it turns out a pretty nice little bike. I'm going to give this thing a start now. You can hear this exhaust in action. We're going to take it for a ride and shoot a few photos. We'll see you on the next one. Generally, this is the part where your favorite YouTuber is going to ask you to subscribe to their Patreon. Luckily for you, 
We're not YouTubers, we're bike builders and parts makers. So if you like the content we create and the bikes we build, or you hate both of those things and just want to grab some gear for your next project, make sure you show your support, jump on our online store and give your bike that purpose-built moto touch. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.